Well, good morning and welcome back to a brand new bag of it. Now, if it's not welcome back and you are new, please do hit that red subscribe button. Now, today we're back looking at my strange addictions, which, I mean, at this point, it's just becoming my own strange addiction. So, I mean, give the video a like to save my sanity. First off, we're going to be looking at a woman who is addicted to drinking blood, which just screams psychopath, but anyways, just let's get into it. My name is Michelle. I am 29 years old. Right, now I know they say you should never judge a book by its cover, but I mean, just by looking at her, you can just tell she would have an addiction like this. Like, it would just be inevitable. I am a tattoo artist, and I am addicted to drinking animal blood. I mean, you can call it animal blood, but we all know that you're just drinking the blood of all your customers. Blood is as important as water to me. I like to drink blood when I'm reading, when I'm relaxing, when I'm watching TV, when I'm painting. It's never a bad time for me to drink blood. I mean, if you're drinking blood in the first place, it's never a good time. Michelle has been addicted to drinking animal blood for the past 10 years. She needs 7 liters a week to satisfy her cravings and can't start her day without a sip. Imagine needing a liter of blood every day of the week. That is just stupid. Like, she probably drinks more blood than she does water. I wake up in the morning, I pour it into my coffee cup. I drink it. I get energized. I, I mean, this woman's just gonna end up starting her own rival company to Starbucks, but instead of all the normal pinkity shittity drinks and all them, she's just gonna have the exact same menu, but with just animal blood in everything. I mean, she'd have them out of business in no time at all. I like to cook with blood. I like to make it in soup. I like to cook it with stir fry. When I make Bloody Marys, I use vodka, hot sauce, and then I add the final touch. I wonder what that could be. The blood. I mean, I'd bet any money that I had. I mean, which I don't, I'm broke. But hypothetically, if I did have money, I bet she has, like, fucking one of them Satan ring things, I don't even know what they're called, in every single room of her house. Like, I mean, surely that's just a given. When Michelle initially told me that she drank blood, obviously I was shocked. It took a while to set in and absorb. I mean, surely finding out something like that, it, it never really should be able to set in, should it? I prefer pig's blood to beef blood because I prefer the gaminess. For fuck's sake, why is this like a common trend between all strange addictions? Like, they all have their favourite brand of whatever and dislike others. Like, like imagine being that picky about what blood you want to drink. And where does she actually even get the blood from? Like, does she just go down the local farm and just kill a few chickens, a few pigs, a few cows? And that's her fucking sorted for the week. Like, do all the farmers just have restraining orders taken out against her? It's a little bit more salty than the beef blood. The consistency is like that of wine. It's just slightly thicker. And it doesn't taste like wine, but it definitely has the same ambiance. Honestly, like, she's talking straight out of her hole there. I mean, she just said it was like wine and then completely contradicted her point within two seconds of saying it. I feel it going down my throat. It's like having a cold and drinking a hot toddy. I get irritable without it. I get angry. I don't want to leave my house. I want my blood. I mean, if she's not a Satanist, then I don't know what the hell Satanism is, because she just completely depicts it. Right, anyways, after that shit show, we're going to be looking at probably the most insane person I've seen on my strange addictions at all. He's addicted to eating glass. Now, I think this might be the first lad that we've actually looked at, but I believe that men can be equally as retarded as the female specimen, so let's hop into it. My name is Josh. I'm 27. I live in Worcester, Ohio, and I'm addicted to eating glass. I swear to fuck, like, how, how has he been let to live for this long? Like, he should have been dead from day one. When I bite into the glass, I just get like a warm feeling, kind of get a little bit tingly. 
A warm feeling of all your gums and tongue getting cut up and all the blood just spilling out. Yeah, great feeling that is. Normally when I look for a glass to eat, I look for uh, champagne glasses, wine glasses, light bulbs. I mean, I'm telling you, like, how do you have a favourite type of glass? I mean, it's just this simple. Glass. You can see through it. Don't eat it. Simple. Clearly not for this bloke. The reason I pick these are because they're usually a thinner glass. It's very gritty right now. It's hard to describe. It sounds awful in my head, the actual chewing. But I enjoy this a whole lot. I'm sure you do. There isn't a whole lot of taste. It's more of a texture thing. It's like eating horrendously sharp uh, rock candy until you grind it down. When I first saw Josh eating glass, I thought it was fake. Right, so she's his fiance, which means he popped the, her the question asking her will she marry him, and she willingly said yes. I mean, I'm just saying she's probably more fucked in the head than he is. I didn't think it was real, and when I found out that it was, I was upset and scared. And yet you're still willing to marry him. <laughs> I am a performer uh, for a living. I do stand-up comedy, but glass eating is not my routine. I actually came across glass eating in a book that I was reading. All right, who the fuck is writing books about eating glass? Fucking next Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Shattered Glass. I mean, I'd buy it. It was kind of scary at first, and then once I realized that it didn't seem to be doing damage to me, it got a lot easier for me to do. I'm worried about you. You don't know what that's doing to the inside of you. Like, most people are worried about having bad cholesterol and you eat glass. Yeah, but I don't, it's not like I feel anything. It doesn't hurt when I eat glass or anything. I mean, it's probably worse if he doesn't feel anything. Yeah, most people don't know they're gonna have a heart attack either and they have those all the time. I've cut my lips many times, the corner of my mouth. I've had uh, pieces of glass in my gums. So there's very distinct possibility it could be cutting deep down inside my body. It's not even a possibility. It definitely has. And I mean, if it's causing all of this pain to him, why doesn't he just stop? I eat glass at parties, bars, uh, friend get-togethers. I love reactions I get from people. Um, I very rarely will do it. Uh, alone. I guess more than anything, I'm really addicted to the attention. I mean, I'm sure you'll love the attention once you end up in a fucking ambulance. Right, so that is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, which you probably haven't, in fact, if you have, you're probably not right in the head, drop a like, subscribe, comment, share, do that stuff, and save my sanity. And I suppose with that said, we'll see you in the next one. Um, yes, uh, can I say the N-word? Knock yourself out. Thanks, nigga.